Hey Miners, what is up? My name is SuperminePod and welcome to the first episode of the Redstone Lab. This is a new YouTube series that I'm gonna start on my channel right now. Um, I'm gonna give you guys some Redstone tutorials as I have announced earlier on Facebook and in my previous video. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna show you how Redstone works and on how you can make some awesome creations with Redstone. Um, Actually, I wanted to, to upload uh, the first episode yesterday. I was recording it, but after and while recording, I was like, nah, I, it, it just, just, just doesn't go well. It's not what I want. So again, I took a little time and uh, decided what I should do in the first video and what not. Um, so hopefully today, the 26th of February, um, the first video could be uploaded. It should be so awesome if it goes all right. Um, so yeah, first I'm gonna show you a little bit of the world. Just introduce the world a little bit, and we can see it starts to get all foggy here. So, um, probably it's raining, but we're in the desert, so we don't see rain. So we're gonna totally down for a second. Look at that. That's awesome building this world, isn't it? Um, this is the main lab. <clears throat> right here. Um, it's just looking small and it just has a little redstone torch in it, which looks pretty cool if you ask me. Um, it's a redstone torch that's an off. It doesn't look like one like this with the yellow in the middle, but just more like one that looks like this one. But at light, it lights up a little bit because I put glowstone inside because, you know, it looks a little bit cool at night now, so. That's cool, isn't it? Um, <laughs> but there is more to this. In this part, there is a lot of redstone, actually. And not just these redstone blocks. Um, and these torches. But, below the ground, there is quite some redstone. Um, of course, that is a little bit more redstone that's here underground. But, um, okay. Um, this is one of the things that's built underground. Um, as you saw, probably, there are pressure plates here. And when I, um... Pre uh, step on this pressure plate, the lights are gonna turn on, and when I step off of it, they're still on. You know, it's just usually, um, let's do uh, a most basic thing. If you take a pressure plate as well, usually we have uh, this kind of thing. If you think of a pressure plate, it's not done like this because then it would go off, or you need to stay on it the whole time. But I'm not doing it now, as you can see. But they still on. Um, this is a little bit more advanced, but it, it has a memory cell. So um, this might look complicated to you, but after a couple tutorials, you will understand this. I'm pretty sure. Um, we're getting into these things pretty quickly. So I've done it here with a button. Um, it's the same thing. Buttons also give little pulls, and they're not like a switch. When it with switches, it's made better, but. I think they look ugly, um, especially in something like that, you know, I want to stab on it and it's done, like, command is executed and stuff like this. Um, this is called actually the button updatable memory cell, I didn't really give it a good and original name, but just what it does and, you know, that's it. Um, also, if we go under here, we can see it, we can, yeah, see some command, um, command things, command blocks. With, uh, this has a time set zero, and this one has toggle down file in it. Um, and this is the light system, it's just basically the same as is, um, above the ground. And here the output is now connected to all of the uh, lights that are up there, up on the ground. Let's see where, okay, there we go. Um, there's also like a little th detail in this house. You can see here red and there white. That is because this is um kind of like a magnet. You have the red is north, so I know that's the north side and that's the south of the world. Um, and so I easily can you know if I stand here, I think like okay, I want to go to my creations. I go to the east, and this is some some awesome creations that I made here. Um, let's put actually the time today and let's. Turning it off takes a little longer than turning it on, but that doesn't matter really. Um, these are some creations that I've made. Um, 
I don't know if you know binary. Binary is actually, we count from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That are all the numbers in it, and zero, I don't know if it's all it in the beginning, but that are all the numbers we have. Um, so you can make, you know, numbers with it like, uh, ten or so. Um, but computers can only have one and zero, and then you can make, like, you can go, if you count, just like, zero, one, okay, I'm out of numbers, let's use one, zero. And that's how that counting goes, I made a, a decoder here, or no, this is an encoder, sorry. Um, so we can say, uh, we want to number 10, which is 1010, or 1010, you should see here. Um, and that just works for all the different numbers. Um, and here I have made the opposite thing, so you can enter something now is 1000, which is 8, and the light at 8 is gonna burn. So, you know, that's what this does, it's some computer stuff in here, um, yeah. That's all it is. The display isn't that hard. It's just like, um, connect that thing to that light there, and then it's done. But this is the 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 hardest part. The same with there. There is not like bigger red display here, <laughs> so you know that wasn't a problem. Um, these things I will go into them later. The first two we will do in this video, and these things right here. Um, so now we have like a little introduction to the worlds. And we're gonna play a little bit with redstone. Um, so yeah, what you probably know about redstone is usually when you mine it, you get this, and when you put it down, nothing really happens. You need to power it with. Um, you can use levers. Um, you can also use. Um, pressure plates. I have, as I have said earlier. Um, you can use strip wire. And you can use buttons, you could use even resin blocks and resin torches. Probably this is stuff that you already know, or I hope you already know this, that you could power redstone. Um, otherwise it will be a little bit too basic. <laughs> um, but I, I think I'm starting pretty basic. Um, so when you, you can power, if, if you, um, put a lever on this block, this block will be powered, and that will power this redstone as well. So, um, this is called an input-output gate, if you go about logic, which is also all these things. Um, so, it's actually, you put a 1 in, and a 1 goes out there. So, the input is the same as the output, and here is an inverter. No, let's do that a little bit later. Um, first this thing. Um, you know, you could power redstone, like this, but it stops at a given moment. There is no more power, so if we take a redstone lamp and put it here, it doesn't do anything. But when we put it here, it lights up. That is because redstone could only travel 15 blocks. So, I've made this little ruler here, and you can see this is 15, it's still powered. 16 is not powered anymore, so um, redstone only powers for uh, 15 blocks long, and it doesn't matter if you put it in one line, you can also, you know, if you do it like this, I don't know how you want, but it could only travel 15 blocks in total. Um, so that is one important thing you know, you need to know, um, you could, um, Renew the the signal by a repeater. This is a repeater um, It actually Puts the signal on again, and now you can go for another 15 blocks, and then you should need another repeater Um repeaters could also be made of reds and torches, but let's do that in next episode um so we can also invert a signal so um if this is off, we can put it on by putting a block right here and a written torch right there. So now this is uh, zero actually, we, we call it, if it's off we call it zero and when it's on we call it one. Or I think that would be the most best way to, 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 to you know, talk about redstone. So this is zero and then this gets one, this gets on. 
um, because of this redstone torch. But when this is one, it's, it's going to invert the signal and it's going to turn it off. It's going to give us a zero. So that's what an invert good does. It's also called a nuts gate, as you can see there. Um, it's, you know, these are all kind of gates, and gates, and end gate, and or gate, and nor gate, and xor gate. Um, so that are all, like different gates. So if you if you will want to talk about that, we could also power a block by just going with the redstone in it, and if you see that redstone is connected to the block, then it, it can power the block. So now we could invert the signal, as you can see. Now it's inverted, now it's turned off. Okay? But when it's not connected in this way, you don't see a connection between it. Because you made it bend right here. Then it's not powering the block. It won't affect the resin torch at all. Um, You could actually solve this by doing this and uh, putting a repeater right here. There's one way to solve it. Now it is affecting the resin torch. Um, but just to you know, if you see this, it's not connected at all. Um, sometimes you might have that it looks like this, but then it could um, really uh, power the blocks next to it. Then it, yeah, actually does. So it's, it's sometimes, not all the time, but most of the times it does. Um, and it powers all the blocks. So the redstone torch doesn't need to be here, it could be here, here, on top of there, um, it could be in all sides. It's even powering uh, what's below it. Let's do that. I think it was like that. No, sorry. <laughs> I was like really going too far with everything. Um, but if you could put like a repeat rupture down, it would work. But you couldn't, so <laughs> that doesn't really work. Um, but that is what it does. Um, it powers everything here on the block, and the whole block. Um, and that is actually this first episode. I want to end up here. I don't want to go too complicated. I give you a little, little introduction to the world, and I showed you the very basics of redstone. If you want to see more complicated stuff, um, and some more, um. A little bit more advanced tutorials and stuff please like this video and also share this video with all of your friends so um, I know that you have liked it and enjoyed it and if you want to see more and if and definitely when you want to build things like this or different big machines I'm working on something else right now as well let's actually go to that world um the random redstone test worlds it's a bit dark here I'm working on this display this uh, shows a zero, we can put on, this shows one. It's going there, we can also go for six or so is this, I don't know. Oh, five, it's almost, almost, almost got up right. Um, we can go for seven or eight. Oh, I'm getting this wrong again all the time. But we can uh, make these uh, numbers, this should be seven then. Yeah, there we go, seven. <laughs> and we can make three. And we can make a four. We can make every number we want. Um, this is now a bit like let's actually uh, set the time to a zero. Oh, that's another thing I made. Okay, toggle down full as well. <laughs> this is another thing I made. It's just a little thing, little project. Um, so yeah, it's it's not too hard. This. Um, but this is getting a little bit harder. It's not too hard to understand. Um, I think. So, if you want to see things like this as well, I, I, I need to make this a little bit smaller. It's a little bit too, little bit too big, actually. I want to make it a lot smaller now. Um, so, I need to work on it. And if it's the smallest I think I can make it, I'm going to put it in another world and I can give you guys tutorials on it. But this is a really good way, actually, to explain it a bit. Um, but yeah. <laughs> um, that is this first video of uh, my redstone lab. Um, so if you enjoyed it, then please like and subscribe and stuff. Um, subscribe also to join the mining army, of course. And you can ch always check out more of my awesome videos on my YouTube channel. So everyone, thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed. And, um... Have a nice day. Bye.